A new version of Harmony OS Next is out there. 50007 landed for my Mate 60 Pro, and I will run you through all the changes. You can take a look at the change log there. And we start off also with the camera there that has some nice features, like I can press and hold the photo button now and slide it to the left to take burst shots, or I can press and hold, slide it to the right to start recording a video. So very nice indeed. Then we have some uh, other options, like there's a live uh, moving picture mode that has been added. And when you slide up and go to your settings, you can see that we have Capture Smiles again in here that was missing from the previous version still. Then what we also have is audio control. So we can use audio control to say either cheese or speak loudly to take a photo as well, which is I think a feature that we had as well before. Then there's the watermark option as well added to the Harmony OS Next uh, 50007 that was missing from the previous version as well. And Ultra Snapshot also found a return here to this one. So if you have your device locked and you want to quickly put it out of the pocket, double press the volume down button and it will directly launch into camera and you can take a shot. You can also like configure it to directly take a shot if you want it. And then we can go out and we are back at the uh, lock screen. Lock screen is a good uh, mention because they also added now the live blur effect back again that was missing from the previous version, at least it was turned off for a while. And now when I go in here, you can see the new nice animation effect. Let's do it again. Nice cool animation effect that we have here and I'm recording this at 4K 60 frames per second. So hopefully you can see this nice animation effect as well. Talking about the camera a little bit more, I will give you now a little camera sample in video and I try to record at 4K 60 frames per second as well. And we'll see what will happen there. We have also the new stabilization mode there that can record at 1080p 60 frames per second and you can turn it off there and it will go back to whatever you had previously selected or what is the default. So let's check it out. So now I'm recording 4K 60 frames per second here on the front facing camera of the Mate 60 Pro uh, using the normal uh, the normal um, front facing camera module which is 0 0.8 times magnification. I can go to white. Hopefully the stabilization has improved to my last time and it's 4K 60 frames per second instead of 30 frames per second because people ask me to do 60 frames per second whenever I do Harmony OS Next because yeah they want to see the fluid animations. 0 0.8 times, uh, no, ultra wide angle which is 0 0.7 or 6 times, now to 1x switch, how does it look like, now to 0 0.8 and what do you think about the quality here, yes it's 60 frames per second, it's quite soft, I cannot go out, it's raining cats and dogs right now outside, this is why I'm doing this inside and have like a little bit of light here going on, what do you think about the quality here? Now with the main camera sensor of the Mate 60 Pro running the new Harmony OS 50007 update. 4K 60 frames per second stabilization is nicely done here. Of course I'm indoors still, this is raining still outside, it's just too wet to go out. And uh, I can switch to the ultra wide angle, hopefully it is not going to stutter because on my first test it started stuttering on the ultra wide angle recording 4K 60 frames per second. So hopefully it's not doing this right now, even if I move to a little bit of a darker place right now because we want to perform a little zoom test on some flowers that I have here. So let's go in here, I can see it stuttering again. So yes, it has some stutter issues there. And this is four times. I can go ten times if I want to. You can see the flower and 1x. 1x is working, it's also stuttering. 60 frames per second because you saw it was stuttering and didn't really work. Now I'm back to 4K 30 frames per second. Maybe this at least is working. Main camera sensor here, same light situation. Let's go to the ultra wide angle. Hopefully it can handle this. So if 60 frames per second is not working, it's not a deal breaker for me, but it's good to know for you that the current beta version has some issues there. So let's go into the low light situation and let's try to zoom in on the same flower. At least it looks like it's not stuttering right now. So let's go 4x zoom there. Switch is also quite fast there, 10x zoom as well. And you can see some droplets there in the background as well. Uh, I should focus actually on the flower, What maybe it's back focusing now on the droplets there instead of the flower. Anyway, 1x, 0, 4x, 
10x, 1x. This looks pretty, pretty solid there at 4K 30 frames per second. So we have an issue still with the Mate 60 Pro, at least with 4K 60 frames per second not working the way it should. Anyway, 4K 30 is working fine on the main, face, uh, main back facing cameras. So as you saw, they have to work on stuff a little bit. We have uh, under more now the possibility to record a panorama that was earlier not possible. So panorama made its way back to uh, the system. And then under photo, we have beautification modes available as well, I think under video as well. So I switch to uh, myself here. We have also some possibilities here in the option and one of them is the flash. So we can turn it on. So it's too dark, it will illuminate the um, illuminate the screen. Let's do it on always on, there you can see it, to give you a nice flash fill light. And these are the camera settings basically and the improvements here in terms of camera. Then let me show you quickly the new um, Let's put it down here in terms of volume. Let's just load a TikTok video that hopefully isn't too strange. Okay, it's not too strange. You can just swipe down. You can see that the video in the background is still running. So the blur that we see there is a live blur that at one point was removed from uh, Harmony is Next, but now made its way back here. So this is nice to see that it's back in here, which is quite a cool little feature. What was missing from the settings when I go back into the settings under the display was the eye comfort mode, which is now available here. And I have the possibility not to only have this eye comfort mode available for or enabled for all day, but I can also schedule it here from sunset to sunrise, which is, I think, very nice. I think also the dark mode. No, the dark mode I can only enable all day. The, the scheduling feature is still missing, but at least we have added now the eye comfort mode. Uh, maybe also changing now because we have already dark outside. Then what also has been included under advanced setting is HDR images. So enhance the display quality of high dynamic range images is by default turned off for some reason, but this is also possible to enable now here. And I also think the smart cover option, I'm not sure if this is a thing here, smart, there we have it, smart cover option is also now available that was uh, not available in the previous build. Another quality of life thing is when you have like uh, something put into the super hub here, you have it as a small preview there, but you can now can tap it and it will be shown as a bigger preview and uh, you don't have like the zoom in functionality, but you can see what it is all about before sharing it or before pasting it somewhere. A uh, very nice feature indeed here as well. Talking about another thing is like, get rid of it, is the new effect for the multitasking uh, window that appears when you just drag it out. You can see this new circle effect there. Let me show it with this side there. So this shows like a circle effect and then opens up this new panel. First of all, we have way more icons than we had before. And the recent ones are stacked on top there. And we have now the possibility to show all of them and we can even edit and remove or add new items to the bar. So if I want to add, for example, a uh, cap cut, I can just press on it and it has been added now down to the bar there. And I can just say, okay, this is good enough for me. I can even search for apps if I want to. And I now have cap cut here and can just easily start it up. As you can see, it's starting up in a little window. I can make it like smaller, I can move it around the way I like it and make it big or go out of it. So this is now a very cool little effect that uh, shows you how flexible this operating system has become uh, with certain things. Uh, see those nice effects are working in even if you're full screen or not. Uh, so these are the, the, the features there, some AI voice features. So for example, what I could do is like if I let me go back to my uh, gallery here. Maybe I can just take one of the photos there that I have, one of the wallpapers. I don't know. Let's take this one here. Can you circle to search? Uh, circle and then can ask Celia what it is. And it will then start to analyze it and maybe find it. So this is now a possibility before you had to like drag it down to Celia, but here you have directly a button to ask Celia what it is. 
which is I think also a nice feature and this is how it will look like in general. So what do you think about this feature? I think it, I like it pretty much. It looks and feels more fluid than the circle to search on the other platforms. Another quality of life feature that we had previously that uh, made its way back to Harmony S5 is the merge duplicate contacts. So in, the, in your contacts application, you have now the possibility with AI driven to merge uh, contact, contacts automatically, always merge contacts automatically. Again, search and select here and that will merge those contacts together. So you don't have like duplicate entries here, which is I think quite nice. Then we have the recording application. So when I go into, I think I have it here under Huawei. No, I don't have it here. The recording application now has also the possibility to save your history. So if you go in here, you can see I have like uh, some uh, things in here, but I have also, if I delete one of those, like for example, I don't know, P50 Pro close up, I delete it. I should have now the recent deleted here and I can just simply restore it like select all or restore all and I can simply restore it so which is also a nice feature quality of life feature if you have some recordings and you want to simply uh, restore those um, yeah recordings uh, very very easily another little change that I noticed is that the web browser now can view YouTube videos in the mobile page it's not uh, jumping to the desktop page anymore like it did before when I went to into my playlist for example and uh, yeah you can see it's loading the mobile page like it should be so for people who like to use it in the western countries with YouTube for example you can use it now in the web browser without any efforts so these are all the features that are listed here for this uh, changelog here for 50007. I think I like this update so far. I like that it feels a little bit more smoother than it was before already. I like the live animations now or the, the live blur effects now working very nicely without any issue. And uh, the device feels a bit snappier. I like also like the, the lock screen. I think they also fixed the bug that this sometimes like shows nothing here. Those widgets like for the weather forecast and uh, temperature uh, was just sometimes if you go into AOD, it just turns off completely. Like let's go out there. Let's turn it on maybe. Yeah, it's still there. And in previous versions, sometimes it's completely blank and I can unlock it and yeah, it flies in there as you see, very, very nice effect there. And uh, I have now two watch faces here, but if you have this one and you go into the lock screen and slide up, it will then merge also into this one here. Uh, if you only have one of them enabled there and they, they are the same, I have like two enabled for some reason. I don't know, one is location, one is like my home. Maybe I can reconfigure this. What do you think about this version? If you have some questions, comments regarding some features that I overlooked, write them down in the comment section. Until the next time, bye.